What up YouTube? My name is Noel and I'm here again with another My League Breakdown. So in my last breakdown video, I did mention that I will no longer upload any regular season games unless they are big time games or playoff games for that matter. So I'm just going to discuss the last 10 games or how many games that are left in this regular season that I'm currently playing. So as you can see right now, the Lakers are 33-7. and 7. They are have now a winning streak of 13 so let's now check the last 10 games that they had um first off they went up against the charlotte hornets currently they are 2018 the lakers won this game 56 49 top scorer for the lakers it's d'angelo russell with 15 points for the hornet sides it's kemba walker with 11 points now let's go to the next game this one against the portland trailblazers surprisingly they are 19 22 um quite different from their actual um, standing in real life but anyway so the Lakers won 73 64 D'Angelo Russell again as a top scorer 14 points Kobe having 10 and Jan uh, Julius Randle having 10 points as well uh, for the Trailblazers sides of course it's Damian Damian Lillard with 23 points and Chris Kamen surprisingly <laughs> by the way um, the lineups that you will be seeing is preseason lineups because I started this my league uh, before the se actual season started. Anyways, let's now go to the San Antonio Spurs. This is quite surprising because the San Antonio Spurs, as you can see, 25-14, they're actually second or third. I forgot, but they are part of the top three West teams and they actually lost. It was a blowout, 53-70. Nick Young was surprisingly the top scorer for this game, 11 points. He has been, I have been capitalizing on Nick Young's three point and athletic capabilities and that's the reason why he was a huge help um, a lot of guys actually contributed on this game Kobe even though he only got eight points but still um, that was enough for the Lakers to win for the Spurs size it was Kawhi Leonard with 13 points followed by Tony Parker with 10 David West as well with 10 points Let's now go to the next one. It's up against the Atlanta Hawks, 1915. The Lakers actually won 65-6. Um, for the Hawks side, what's Tim Hardaway Jr., top scorer for 10 points. Um, same time as well, it's Kyle Korver with 10 points. For the Lakers side, it was Mr. Bryan taking over the game. 24 points, 5 rebounds. Player of the game, no doubt. And again, another matchup against the Brooklyn Nets, 1924. Lakers won 64-47, blowout. Um, for the next, um, I'll be honest, I'm not quite familiar with Bogdanovich, but he is the top. He was the top scorer of this game, followed by Brook Lopez with eight. For the Lakers side, Kobe again taking over with 13 points. Roy Hibbert with 11, and that's it for your Nets game. Now, going up against the Detroit Pistons 13-22, they don't really have that much of a great record in this my league, but they were close enough against the Lakers. Lakers still won 68-61. Uh, Caldwell Pope was the top scorer for this game, 18 points for the Pistons side, or actually the entire game. As you can see, Nick Young only scoring 15 points, three short. From Caldwell Hope, D'Angelo Russell also step up 12 points, Jordan Clarkson with 11. Kobe, Kobe did not play in this game because he often gets tired um, during the regular season. So here is the rematch from the earlier video that I uploaded or previous video that I uploaded against the Cavaliers 26-12. Um, for at this point, they're not actually the number one East team, but they're still part of the top three. Um, Lakers won 67 56. LeBron James with the top scorer for the Cavs side, followed by Kyrie Irving with 10. For the Lakers side, it was Mr. Bryant outscoring his rival or his good rival um, with 18 points, followed by Jordan Clarkson and D'Angelo Russell, 11. The young guns really stepping up against LeBron. So um, let's just go briefly with All Star Weekend. Uh, I did not play anymore the rookies and sophomore game. For I cannot check any details regarding the slam dunk and the three point shootout, but Nick Young was included on the three point shootout. Um, sadly, he fell short. The winner for that one is actually Steph Curry. Um, wasn't the case for the actual three point shootout this year. For the all star game, I actually uploaded a video of this one 54 71. Mr. Bryant getting the all star MVP with 21 points, 
followed by Damian Lillard with 10. For the east side, it was Paul George with 11 points. It's almost the same with the actual All-Star game because Paul George was the top scorer for the east side. It's just that um, it was Russell Westbrook who ended up getting the MVP, which, by the way, is not included in this All-Star lineup. His teammate, though, Kevin Durant is here. But anyways, um, it's a, it's... It's a simulated season, so you can't really, ex you don't really know what's going to happen. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's move on now against the Boston Celtics. Lakers won by 20 points against their longtime rival, 44-64. Mr. Bryant really taking over the game with 23 points, followed by D'Angelo Russell with 11 and Nick Young with 10. Same with Lou Williams. For the Celtics side, it was Crowder. Yep, Crowder with 9 points. They didn't really play that well. As you can see, none of them even reached double digits in terms of points scored. Now let's have again another rematch. Lakers, Trail Blazers. Sadly, this time, still, the Blazers lost 71-58. Damian Lillard still the top scorer for this game with 19 points. For the Lakers side, it was Nick Young with 19, followed by Mr. Bryant with 14. But despite the fact that Nick Young scored most for the Lakers side, it was Kobe who won player of the game for this game because as you can see, um, he had two rebounds, five assists. He was all over the place and that's the reason why he's player of the game. Um, last on the last 10 game is a game between the Pistons again. Um, it's a rematch but it's quite a blowout. As you can see there, 38-64 Lakers won, Mr. Bryant gaining 23 points and that win followed by Nick Young. Kobe really took over this game. Um, if you notice on that last Detroit Pistons game, Kobe was not there because he's resting of sorts. But in this game, he really took over 23 points and that was enough to give the Pistons a huge blowout. On the Pistons side, it was Dremon with the top score with 12 points followed by Brandon Jennings with 10. All right, so let's now check the standings of this season. Oh, wait, sorry, my bad. Um, oh, here we go. So on the west side, it's the Lakers, who is actually the number one seed, 33-7, followed by the San Antonio Spurs and the Golden State Warriors. For the east side, it's the Miami Heat. Surprisingly, they, don't get me wrong, the, the Heat... Are, is still a good team. It's just that you would expect the Cavs to be the number one team. But on this um, season, they are, or in this my league, they are the number one team, followed by the Cavs and then the Toronto Raptors. Just to give you guys a playoff picture, so here are the teams who's going to make it for the East Side. So it's Miami, Cavs, Raptors, Bulls, Bucks, Hawks, Hornets, and then the Celtics. <laughs> and then you have here for the West, you have the Lakers, Spurs. Warriors, Rockets, Clippers, Suns, Grizzlies, and the Mavericks. The Mavs. The Mavs. Mavs. So most likely if the playoffs started right now, I'll be going up against the Dallas Mavericks. Which is okay. It's a good it's a good matchup. In terms of power rankings for NBA.com, we are currently number four for 2K Sports. Same thing with number four. But for Mark Spears, finally we are number one. He has finally recognized who is the best team. I just can't expect anything from 2K Sports. I understand, though, that in a long-term basis, they might look at my actual rating. That's the reason why they can't place me in a number one spot. That's fine. <laughs> so let's now go to the statistics. Uh, oh, wait, no. Let's go to award races. For the MVP, finally, Kobe has taken over LeBron as the number one vote-getter. For the most valuable player award he has the most points per game um not that close with the rebounds not as well with the assists so i guess it now boils down to the points per game I i'm really trying my best i know that in real life kobe is much laid back as he normally is or you know back in his prime but even though kobe is old in this season i try my very best to really capitalize on his final year as you can see, his morale is pleased. He's quite rested because I tried to rest him uh, from one game to another. Um, surprisingly, D'Angelo Russell is included on the MVP talks. He's actually number three. And then you also have Roy Hibbert. So it's really 
much of a it's it's no surprise why they are part of the all-star game that i just uploaded and yeah they're playing very exceptional that's the reason why they are part of the mvp talk for the rookie of the year no doubt it's d'angelo russell for six man it's nick young defensive player it's roy hibbert but um he's just number two most likely anthony davis is going to win this one he anthony davis is a starting forward roy hibbert as well but i play i would like to assume Anthony Davis is being utilized more than as I utilized Roy Hibbert. Most improved player, um, Jordan Clarkson was supposed to be in here, but I guess he was already removed. That's fine. So that's it for your award races. Um, is there anything else that I need to check? I guess that's pretty much it. So um, currently we're, we are 40 games down. We only have 18 games left. Um, the next game will be the Raptors, Knicks. Again, the Celtics, Pacers, Clippers, uh, Mavs, Hornets, Wizards, 76ers, Heat, and the Pacers. So that's going to be my next 10 or wait. Yeah, next 11, 10 or whatever. Uh, most likely, there are only a few more breakdowns to go before I will end this season. Um, it's really a huge boost in terms of continuing the season because i no longer have to choose games that i would like to upload because again um i'm just trying to be realistic here not a lot of people are actually watching my season games um same thing with my league breakdown but at least i'm giving an overview so that's fine um i just really want to wrap up the season because i really want to start with my career i haven't touched my career yet it's already like what March of 2016 I got this game like last October I should have like started way back I should have finished this before the actual season started but hey you know life happens and you have to deal with it anyway so if you enjoyed the video please do leave a like and if you have any tips suggestions comments or whatnot please do leave a comment and if you would like to see more videos from me hey man please do subscribe I would really appreciate it Again, my name is Noel. Peace out.